have here now. Sound great. You know, uh, coaches a lot of times don't put a lot of stock in the rankings and uh, about specific players and, and, cla and classes as a whole, but uh, do you think your class maybe is not as highly thought of just because of the sheer numbers, or, or why do you think the, the pundits may not like it as much as some other classes? Yeah, well, that's a great question, and, and uh, you know, I don't know if we can ever come up with a real answer. Uh, the other than recruiting is not an exact science, and you have a lot of guys that are in position to do rankings that, that don't evaluate a lot of film. You know, so there's a lot of unknowns out there when you start talking about re recruiting rankings. You know, but uh, I think the small class has a lot to do with it because they a lot of the services or the the so-called uh, recruiting experts they they count the number of stars and add them up, and that's that's the value of your recruiting class. You know, I, I think that we have a lot of three and potentially four-star players in this class. I don't think there are, I don't believe there's any two-star player, players in this class uh, based on who we've competed against and what and what we see on the film. Uh, I think the film speaks for itself, and I think anybody that's, that's uh, a layman a football you know, coach or been in the, the business can look at the film and, and see the quality of the players and then obviously who we compete against to get them. Uh, none of these guys were, were gimmies. We had, we had to work uh, really hard to, to sign this class. Uh, I think that we don't uh, promote our, our signing class and our recruits very much uh, we, uh, for, for a lot of different reasons. I think we saturate areas and do a great job in the evaluation part, and I don't feel like I need to share all the valuable information I have with the entire recruiting world. And if we have a, a special player, we know something about some of the guys that we are recruiting that we think separates them from other recruits, uh, we keep that business to ourselves a lot. And that aids us in the recruiting process. But I think uh, Normando Harris last year is a classic example. Here's a guy that came in and played as a freshman on defense. We think he could be a star on offense. Uh, he was a top wrestler in the state, a top football player, a, a guy that placed in the, in the triple jump uh, you know, in a state meet, and, and we knew a lot more about him. You know, and, and we knew these things about him uh, before the signing date. And if we shared a lot of those great things about him with everybody that we knew, then, uh, then maybe uh, we wouldn't have a chance to get him. Uh, so I think we don't uh, promote our, our classes all that much. I think that's uh, something to do with it. And then, you know, it's, it's a lot of it's a popularity contest. A lot of the rankings are based on what people hear. You know, again, you have something that's not an exact science, and people basing their rankings on something that they've heard and not seen. So the validity of it is, is certainly uh, questionable. Uh, there are some recruiting analysts that actually take the time to look at the film and travel across the country and go to, to hundreds of sites on an annual basis and actually eyeball the players up and actually look at the film. And I, I think those recruiting services are a little more could be a little more valid in their assessments.